Let's go back to this example. Alice rolls a pair of dice. She rolls doubles. She scores two points. Otherwise, Dave scores D minus two points, where D is the difference. Let's get the expected value. So one-sixth of the time, you're going to get a two. So Alice's expectation is one-sixth of the time times two. What's the probability of getting a difference of one? A difference of one comes from two and one, three and two, four and three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I calculated that probability, and that probability is 10 over 36. So 10 over 36 at a time, the difference is going to be 1. And Dave is going to score minus 1. In other words, Alice is going to score plus 1. So 10 over 36 times plus 1. Difference of 0, a, a difference of 2, the probability of getting a difference is 2. In other words, 1 and 3, 2 and 4, 3 and 5, 4 and 6. The probability of that is 8 over 36. 8 over 36 at a time. It'll be a wash. Nobody wins anything. The probability of getting a difference of 3 is 6 over 36. So now Dave wins 1, so Alice loses 1. Probability of getting a difference of 2 is 4 over 36. So that's a, a loss of 2 for Alice and 2 over 36, loss of, of 3. And so when you do that calculation, you get 2 over 36, you get 1 over 18. So on average, Alice expects to win 1 over 18. So normally a game like this would be played where you have chips, and you pass the chips back and forth according to who wins and loses. So everybody starts with a big stack of chips, and you hand over the, the right number of chips either from Bob to Alice or Alice to Bob. And every time the game is played, Alice expects to win, on average, 1 18th of a chip. So if she plays this game a long time, she's going to take all of Bob's chips. But it will be slow, and it'll be steady. You know, and after five minutes, you know, Bob might begin to whine, but Alice says, look, come on. You know, we've been playing for, tell me, you had... 50, and now you have 48. What's the big deal here? But Alice is clever like that. <clears throat> Does she want to play this game? Yes, as often and as long as she possibly can. But again, with the caution, she has to be prepared for these fluctuations in which Dave has this big winning streak and she has to go in the hole quite a bit. Okay. Another example. Bob flips a fair coin ten times. He wins three points if he gets exactly five heads and five tails with any other outcome. Shing scores one point. What's the expectation of Bob's score? We did the calculation before. The probability of getting five heads in 10 tosses of a coin was around 0 0.24609. So the expectation for Bob's score is 3 times 0 0.24609. And the other time, he loses 1. So it's 1 times the other probability, the complement. And I've done the calculation there. So Bob loses a little more than a penny on a dollar bet every time this game is played. Pretty close. Pretty close. Is the example clear? You have to trust my calculation. All right. Back to this one. Carlos rolls a single fair die, et cetera. If he, wins, if he, gets, he wins if he gets a six, otherwise he sets a point. And he rolls until he gets a, a six, where he loses, and he wins. Otherwise, and we've already calculated this probability to be seven out of 12. And so if this is on a 
a $1 wager. He would win with 1 times 7, 12, and he would lose with probability 5 over 12. And so the expectation on a dollar bet would be 2 over 12. That would be positive. And so Carlos is really in the favored position in this game. 